Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to do a little book haul. So I have six books today, which I think is quite small for a book haul compared to some other book hauls here on booktube, but they are quite diverse so hopefully something will be interesting for you. The first one is A Thousand Splendid Sons. Uh, by Halid Husseini. It was published in 2007, um, but I'm very keen to read this. I read The Kite Runner years ago, which focuses more on men and male relationships, whereas this one is intentionally focused more on women and their relationships, and I'm very interested to see how um, Afghanistan is portrayed, how Afghan women are portrayed, and it follows specifically two women uh, who are kind of forced into marriages that they're not keen on, and their husband is very abusive, and how they handle their situations and try to forge relationships with other people outside of this abusive marriage that they are forced into. Second up, we have In Search of a Mother's Gardens by Alice Walker. This is a collection of, I think, like 36 different works um, into four sections. This was originally published in 1983. It's kind of a look at um, womanist prose, so black feminist um, ideology and theory. I'm very, very keen to read this. So that should be very interesting. This is the only non-fiction work out of the six today, but I'm very keen to read this. Next up we have The Incendiaries by Aro Kwan. Uh, this was published in 2018. This should be interesting because the author wrote this after her own experience with loss of faith, like loss of faith in God, um, and it follows uh, two characters and how people are more susceptible to um, religious fanaticism and cults when they are going through loss. So, very interested in reading this one. Then we have a new book, the newest one, I guess, the most modern, um, which is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Um, this was just published this year. Um, maybe The Silent Patient, I feel like everybody's talking about this. This follows um, a secret society at Cambridge, um, which is made of all women, called the Maidens, and somebody is murdered, and a therapist who knows the girls is trying to figure out what happened and look more into the secret society at Cambridge. So, should be interesting, kind of a thriller, which is fun. Then we have The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I think in the US this is called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle because it came out around the same time as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so almost the same titles. So people were confused, so they renamed it Seven and a Half in the US. Um, but basically it is also a mystery um, where a woman has been murdered and the person trying to solve her murder wakes up in a different body every day and relives her murder and tries to figure out clues and what's going on. So a little a little sci-fi, which is different for me, which is fun. So could be an interesting read. <laughs> and lastly, um, N.W. by Zadie Smith, which was published in 2012. Oh, sorry, I don't think I said it. This was published in 2018. Um, this was published in 2012. Uh, NW stands for an area, like a postal code in London, and it follows four characters and their kind of city life. Um, after school, I think they meet in school and then they go out living their, their own lives and it kind of follows uh, city dwelling and um, city life. And I think that'd be interesting. I really like London, so I'm curious to see it from a Londoner's perspective. So that is it, <laughs> short and sweet, these six books. <laughs> uh, let me know if anything sounds interesting to you. Do you like fiction? Are you more of a nonfiction? Have you read these or are they on your TBR list? Uh, thank you so much for walking and see you soon.